Hello. In this second part of linear programming, I take you through how to use search line to optimize the objective function. As you saw in the previous video, we drew the feasible region and then picked all the possible points within the region, tested, and then we got our maximum value. In this case, we were supposed to get the maximum profit that the company uh, was likely to realize. So we chose a particular point from all the possible points, substituted the values for X and Y and obtained that. So in this one, we will get uh, the two points. One for the maximum profit, another one for minimum profit that can be uh, realized by simply using the line. So let's see what this entails. Uh, first, uh, we have the objective function. So this is what we used previously. Now, what we're going to do is to choose a convenient function based on the area that we are using to plot uh, the values or rather to uh, the region that we already have based on the inequalities that we were given or the constraints that we came up with. Uh, so we can reduce this so that the function is not way far from the region. So we may decide to divide by a convenient number like 10, for instance, so as to get negative 20x plus 10y is equal to z. z is here uh, as a, as a, what we call it's a constant. So a constant divided by a constant still uh, remains a constant. And that's how we manage to still have z. So we just call it z because as I said earlier, it can be anything, it can be any letter because it's an arbitrary representation of what the value, uh, the profit will be based on the values that are chosen for X and Y. Now, um, as you can see down here, uh, for us to get at least two points that will enable us to draw the search line, uh, all we need to do is very simple. Just swap the values of the coefficients of x and y. In this case, for x, take, take 50. So we'll take 50 here for x, and then for y, we take a negative 20x. Now, the two values will be used to uh, get, rather generate the coordinates, which in this case will now be, as we said here, x is 50. So when x is 50, y is 0. So these values just give us the intercepts. And it's very easy to plot, uh, to draw a line when you have the intercepts, the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So when y is negative 20, uh, x is 0. So we have our two points. Let's continue and see how we will use uh, the search line once it's drawn. So we have our y-axis and then our x-axis. Suppose that that's our feasible region, then using those two points, we have come up with a search line. So that's the search line. Now, all you need to do, or all that you require at this point are a set square and a ruler both of which will be placed along the search line. So you place the ruler along the search line, and then uh, you set square uh, along the, the, the search line such that it's perpendicular to it. Uh, this is how you will do it. Now bring your ruler, place it along the search line such that it's touching this edge of the set square. Uh, then just slide it along towards the feasible region. Our uh, aim here 
is to have the point where that ruler will first touch the feasible region and then later on the region where it will lastly touch as it leaves the region. Something like this. Uh, look at that. Yes, so as you can see, all you need to do is to slide the ruler. In this case, look at that. So this is the part it touches as it first enters the feasible region. So that is definitely one of the points that will give us the optimal value. You continue moving it, sliding it along, along this, this edge until it uh, gives you the point where it, uh, it touches the region as it leaves. I think that gives you the right picture of what needs to be done. So let's now look at uh, the region that we came up with uh, in our last video. So this is it. Yeah, we have the corner points, the coordinates given just like that, the equations of the lines that are involved. Uh, of course, the region was arrived at after considering the constraints that we have right here. And then um, the objective function, just like we've used it, we have negative 200x plus 500y is equal to z. Now, uh, without wasting time, what you need to do uh, is just to have your line, the, the search line. So how do we do that? So we have our two points, which will give us the y and the x intercepts. So uh, as for me, I'll use the software, I'm using GeoGebra. In your case, you can just uh, plot the points uh, in your graph paper and then proceed to draw the line. So here is what I'm going to do. So I just want to fit my two points. So this is which one do we not really, it's a line. I want to draw a line. So for that matter, that's what's most appropriate for me. Then I get the first uh, point was uh, 50 and zero. So I think it was 50, 50 and zero. Then the second point uh, based on this is uh, zero and negative 20. Well, that's what we want to use to come up with our line. And I'm not seeing it. Uh, let's see if we move this. Yes, 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 that is it. So we can just move uh, it upwards like that. So let's just move it so that it's clear, you can clearly see it. Um, very good, so we no longer need this region. Perfect, so this is our search line. Maybe the next thing I'll do is to change its color so that it's different from the rest. So which color? I don't know whether that looks better anyway. All we want to achieve is just to have a line that looks different from the rest. Uh, how about that? I think that's just okay. That's fine. Now, uh, according to the explanation that I've already given, uh, remember I said that you place your ruler along the search line and then you slide it along your set square, which will be perpendicular to the search line. So in my case, this is how I will illustrate it. So that's my search line. Then I just, suppose I was sliding my ruler, you can see this line here is parallel to that. So as I slide the ruler, that's the first part. It enters the feasible region. So that's definitely one of the, the solutions to a problem, so we pick that point. Then we continue sliding. Uh, it's inside, and we have 
several points. There is a point here, as you can see, there is a point here, there is another one there. There is there's so many, we have so many points, but then we are interested in where it first enters the region and where it leaves the region. Perfect. So this is another one. So as it leaves, this is where it touches. So we take that point, 100 for x, 170 for y. The other one is 200 for x, then 80 for y. So you test the two values in your objective function. So we will have that. And then the other one is definitely that one. So those are the two points that you need without uh, wasting a lot of time uh, testing so many possible points within the feasible region. Indeed, if you try 100 and 170, you get zero. If you try 200 and uh, I think we tried, yeah. So if you try 200, 200, and not really, yeah, two, is it 280? Not really. Yeah, I think it's 100 and 170 gives 65,000. When you try 280, you will get zero. So you can see how easy that was. <laughs> Instead of taking all these plus any other that is within this region. Wow, look at this. 100 and 170. So that gives 65,000 the maximum profit that can be realized. Yes, so you really need to make X, uh, number of X, uh, I think one type X calculators, or oh, the number of a certain, yes, the, the X was standing for a certain, I think graphing calculators, not really, uh, that was scientific calculators, and then Y was representing the number of graphing calculators. So if, if the company makes 100 graphing uh, scientific calculators and 170 graphing calculators, then they will uh, maximize the profit. When they try, if at all they try to make uh, 200 scientific calculators in a day and 80 uh, graphing calculators in a day, there will be no profit the amount they will make is nothing new, so it will be zero. Well, at that point, I think you already understand how you can use the search line to optimize the objective function. I hope you see how easy it is to use the search line. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Bye.